four ways the Earth could end very soon. Doomsday prophecies predicting the end of the world are as old as mankind itself. But the stark truth is that as mankind advances technologically, our chances of destroying our planet increase dramatically. New inventions and scientific techniques have unforeseen consequences. All it takes is one wrong move, one crazy dictator, or one mad scientist, and everything that makes our world special could be gone in an instant. And for all we know, one of these doomsday scenarios could trigger within our lifetimes. So, let's find out which are the most likely as we explore four ways the Earth could end very soon. Number 4. Supervolcano 252 million years ago, our planet decided it was sick of all these weird creatures crawling all over it. So, to get rid of this irritating condition known as life, Earth went to the drugstore and bought some special cream. And it almost did the job. Nearly 90% of all ocean life vanished during this period, along with 70% of land species and many kinds of insects, trees, plants, and microbes too. This event was aptly named the Great Dying, and scientists are uncertain as to what caused it. Many of the potential contributors have been linked to the eruption of major volcanic eruptions in China and Russia just before the extinction took place. During these eruptions, the Chinese and Russian volcanoes are estimated to have ejected 1 to 4,000 kilometers square of material, causing the greenhouse effect and a massive methane release among a litany of other devastating side effects. For comparison, the Yellowstone supervolcano was predicted to eject 3,000 kilometers square of material when it erupts. And unfortunately for us, Yellowstone is overdue for an eruption by a few thousand years, as are other supervolcanoes in North America, South America, Asia, and Oceania. If any of these magma zits were to burst, it could lead to a series of environmental issues which go on to cause the extinction of all life on Earth. Number 3. Asteroid Impact Another historical cause of large-scale extinction here on Earth is asteroid impact. We think that the Chicxulub asteroid wiped out the dinosaurs 66 million years ago, and such an event could occur again if we were to miscalculate the trajectory of an Earth-bound asteroid. Thankfully, NASA is confident it can track asteroids large enough to disrupt human life. And as time goes on, these detection efforts improve, as are our contingency plans should we identify a collision late in the day. But what if we have to deal with an asteroid that isn't coming at us from deep space? Confused, I'll bet. But that's because you haven't heard of a Verna shot. Verna shots are a hypothetical volcanic reaction which launches a huge amount of material into a suborbital trajectory. And because what comes up must come down, this mass of material would eventually fall back down to the Earth, creating a locally sourced, whole food style asteroid whose impact could be capable of wiping out humanity. A Verna shot has never been witnessed. But we have evidence that one may have taken place at the site of the Deccan Traps 66 million years ago, meaning that the Chicxulub event could have been caused by an event here on Earth. Any one of these aforementioned supervolcano sites could play host to a Vernishat incident, and there is evidence to suggest that fracking activities could cause a chain reaction of events, which results in an ejection that would otherwise not have occurred. Another potential man-made asteroid event could be generated through mining activities on comets and meteors, which are moved in proximity to Earth. We are expected to start mining asteroids for minerals in the next few decades, but if an accident on board a near-Earth asteroid were to cause it to change course, we would have no chance of reacting in time to prevent its impact. Number 2. Biological Disaster Earth is already in the midst of its sixth major extinction event. If an asteroid impact or volcanic eruption were to take place right now, the remaining life forms may not have enough between them to survive within this altered climate. 
Humans are the drivers of this extinction event. With our industrial activities, resource requirements, and population increases all contributing to the destruction of species around the world. But we're not content to stop there. We're exacerbating the problem by releasing genetically modified organisms out into the biosphere without fully testing the effects. There is no way we can know the long-term consequence of genome editing upon Earth's delicately balanced ecosystems. Yet there are many new species of animal and plant out there in the wild as we speak. Some of these organisms may become the dominant species among their type due to the advantages given by genetic modification. But if there is a fundamental flaw within these creatures or plants which only erupts later, an entire genus could be lost within years. Another threat comes from synthetic biology, which involves the creation of artificial organisms from a mixture of biological and non-biological components. We have recently created the first synthetic DNA bases in synthetic bacteria, and nobody is quite sure how far this technology will go. It is possible that we may accidentally create a super virus or super bacteria that wipes out all other life on Earth. And this is no mere scare story. It is predicted by experts that we will see a major incident related to biological technology at some point in the next half century. Number 1. Nanobots The concept of nanobots was suggested as far back as the 1950s. When physicist Richard Feynman described his idea of miniature robots capable of working, repairing, and creating things on a molecular level. In 2015, this technology came to life when micro-motor-powered nanobots delivered a nanoparticle compound directly into the gut tissue of a live mouse. And by the mid-21st century, it is expected that nanotechnology will have reached the point where we can manipulate individual molecules en masse using a swarm of these tiny robot tools. However, the threat to Earth comes when self-replication or artificial intelligence is introduced into the equation. If we were to create von Neumann machines, which are devices capable of recreating themselves using nothing but the necessary raw materials, an out-of-control swarm could end up consuming the entire planet. Their self-replicating nature means that once they begin, there would be no stopping a von Neumann fleet and such a swarm could even go on to consume the solar system and worlds beyond if they were powerful and numerous enough. If we imbibe these machines with artificial intelligence, this destruction of the Earth may not be an accident. An intelligent swarm of self-replicating robots may see mankind as a drain on its resources, and having already acquired the knowledge required to improve themselves, a swarm of artificially intelligent von Neumann machines may choose to consume our planet in order to fulfill one single primary purpose, the creation of more of themselves. So, unlike in the movies, it seems mankind is more likely to succumb to teeny tiny little robots than a horde of giant Terminator death machines. But if we survive this technological catastrophe, what else may come to destroy us later down the line? We're going to explore this in our bonus video, Threats to the Earth in the Far Future, which you can watch on our Patreon page at patreon.com slash strange mysteries. For a $2 a month pledge, which you can cancel at any time, you'll get to watch this and all of our bonus content, which goes deeper and darker into every topic than YouTube allows. If you don't want to donate, then that's bullshit. We know you wanted more. Strange mysteries on YouTube and our Patreon bonus videos weren't enough to quench your search for truth, to give you that sense of awe and wonder again, to go past what you thought was the end, to give you the answers you seek, but which only lead to more questions. That's why we just up the stakes. Chemicals of reality. Reality, consciousness, brains. What else is there? Ask yourself that question. Perhaps that's all there really is, but perhaps everything else is found within a place where these ideas, these things, overlap. Some thing, some place that is undefinable. To many people, altering certain chemicals in their brains produces what they would simply call hallucinations. In fact, what we're going to discuss specifically used to be called the businessman's trip, 
as one could enjoy it, come down and put your pants back on in the time it takes to eat lunch. It wasn't taken seriously. Well, unless, of course, you started digging. And some people, including us, did. Already, though, to many people, this chemical is special amongst others. Very special. To them, it represents something more meaningful and incredible, as if it's the gateway to the next level of consciousness. The ticket to a higher reality barely explored by most humans. It is the entry point to a new reality, visited by only a select few whose minds have become enlightened through the use of this exotic substance. For this reason, it's commonly referred to as the spirit molecule. But is its reputation as a mystical mind opener deserved? Or is it and everything it represents just a load of bullshit? We look at, investigate, and dive deeply into nearly all available research regarding this question from nearly every angle feasible. And in the course of doing so, stumble upon unexplainable patterns, correlations, and neurological evidence for a reality existing beyond this one. Watch this hour-long Strange Mysteries premium video, Chemicals of Reality, as well as many more to come by becoming an elite premium member of our Patreon at patreon.com slash strange mysteries.